everybody, boxing fans. I'm Miguel Maravilla. It is Friday, June 26, 2020. Yes, it's Friday. The weekend is here. We have some boxing to talk about this weekend, some fights we have going down on ESPN from Mexico City as we have WBC Super Featherweight Champion Miguel El Alacran Berchel with a record of 37-1 and, and 33 knockouts. He will be taking on Elisar Valenzuela with a record of 21, 13, 4, 16 knockouts. The champ Berchel just getting his work in, obviously. We also have a pretty, pretty good undercard that should feature some Solid talent from Mexico, one of them being Omar El Pollo Aguilar with a record of 17-0, 16 knockouts from Ensenada, Mexico. He'll be taking on Dante Jardón with a record of 32-6, 23 knockouts. We also have a 10-round junior lightweight bout between Mauricio Bronco Lara and Humberto Galindo with a record of 12-0-1. Galindo out of Tijuana. We also have Rafael Divino Espinosa, 14-0 with 12 knockouts. He'll be taking on Luis Guzman. We also have junior welterweight prospect Ruben Pollito Aguilar, record of 9-0 with 7 knockouts. He'll be taking on Emmanuel Herrera. So this, um, this card features some pretty good talent from Mexico. Check it out. On the undercard, we have undefeated featherweight Rafael Divino Espinosa with a record of 14 and all, 12 knockouts, taking on Luis Guzman. This is a scheduled eight rounder. Espinosa out of Jalisco, the same state that has produced champions Saul Canelo Alvarez, Abner Mares, the Rellas brothers, just to name a few. Look for Espinosa to go out there and score the knockout. He does pack a punch as uh, 12 of his 14 wins have come by knockout. Then we have the prospect Ruben Pollito Aguilar with a record of 9-0, 7 knockouts. He'll be taking on Emmanuel Herrera. This is a scheduled 6-rounder as the super lightweight Pollito Aguilar is likely going to go out there and also score a knockout. And of course, we have the rising prospects as Alain David Ray Picasso with a record of 14 and 0, five knockouts. He'll be taking on Florentino Perez with a record of 14 and 5, two draws and nine knockouts. This is 10 rounds. In the super featherweight division. Look for Picasso to go out there. Get some work in. Get some rounds in. And eventually score a mid to late round knockout. I'd be surprised if it's an early knockout. However, Picasso is being showcased Saturday night. Keep an eye out on that kid. And in the co-feature... Omar El Pollo Aguilar, with a record of 17-0, 16 knockouts. He'll be risking it all in a 10-rounder, taking on the veteran Dante Crazy Jardón, with a record of 32-6 and 23 knockouts. This is definitely one of those fights for Aguilar where he's going to go out there against an experienced veteran. Jardón has seen it all. In his 38 fights, the super lightweight prospect Aguilar is on his way, on the rise for better things. But Jardón looks to, looks to be the solid gatekeeper that Aguilar has to face if Aguilar wants to go on and succeed. Well, Aguilar definitely has pop in both fists, but... This will be one of those tough fights for the young prospect. And in the main event, of course, the main event, we have 
WBC Super Featherweight Champion Miguel El Alacran Berchel. 37-1, 33 knockouts. He'll be taking on Eliasar Tronco Valenzuela with a record of 21, 13, 4 draws and 16 knockouts. In this fight, while as what we saw last week with Emmanuel Navarrete, expect Berchal to go out there, get the rounds, get the work in, fighting basic, working off the jab. Berchal, a very heavy-handed fighter with lots of technique, will, will go out there and let that rust out. Expect Berchel to score a mid round stoppage. Probably say four to six rounds. Saturday night on ESPN. Tune in and enjoy the fights.